What's going on, everybody? I'd like to introduce you to somebody. His name is Mustache Mark, and he's on my face. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not much of a mustache. But in my defense, I shaved it last Friday. It's been seven days, and this is what I was born with, okay? Now, I'm lucky enough to be the strapping young man that I am that I can have a clean-shaven face and not have to be bullied for my poor facial hair. And Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio and all the other dudes who barely have beards and goatees, they know what I'm talking about, so I'll stop. Today, let's get right into it. I grew my mustache out for two reasons. One, Coors Light. Who drinks Coors Light? Sam Elliott, he's on the wall. Can you see him? Right there. What's up, bud? Where are you doing? Yeah, so he has a mustache. And number two reason why I grew my mustache. I am of Latino blood, Hispanic, Mexicano, if you will, and I have Modelo, Mexican beer. I have heard that this is trash beer, but back when I used to drink it, it was wonderful, very skunky. I haven't had it in years, but I remember before, I liked them. So we're going to get right into it. This is a Modelo. It's an imported beer, a Cerveza, whatever that means, <laughs> Cerveza, more like Sir Loco, Especial, golden, full-flavored Pilsner style lager with a clean, crisp finish. Is it as crispy as this fade? We're going to find out now, aren't we? Brewed in Mexico. I think they're like 5%. I have no idea. I like the gold. Back when I used to drink those, I was a young chap. I, we would sit outside, especially in the spring when the sun would come out. We would fill the cooler full of Modelo, Corona, that type of stuff. We would get our lime, cut them up. We'd get caught up in the sun. And next thing you know, my blood pressure would be through the roof because you know I was putting Valentina's and salt around the rim on these guys. And I needed Valentina's and salt per swig. Now you can imagine every time you take a sip, you keep going, heart goes through the roof. Let's get right into it. Let's go back to my younger 20 years. Let's see. What's the crack night? What's cracking? That was crispy. That, that went right through my fingers. Wow. My manos. Oh my God. Let's try it. Smells like Tijuana. It smells like, it smells like what it used to smell like. It's got a drip to it. It's good. It's really good. It was sitting in the back of my truck too. I bought them a few hours ago. It was sitting in the snow. But what I am missing is my trusty lime. Now we don't use knives in this house. We use crusty concrete knives that sit in your pocket for days. So it's got lint, um, concrete dust, whatever else, whatever else is on there. Let me cut my lime up. Cause what is a Mexican beer without a limon? Let's do it, let's do it, let's see. This is gonna seal the deal. Kinda like with my cores and my Smokies. There we go. Now there's nothing cool. I, I don't like that you need the lime, it does help, but I don't like having to squeeze a lime. I mean, I'm very like, I, I pay attention to what I look like. And if you're squeezing a lime into your beer, it might not be a good look, but you know what? It gets the job done. I don't have any salt, but I'm trying to wash that. I definitely don't need to be getting crazy with these. Back in the day, I knew that if uh, whoever drank the most of these Modelos, somebody was gonna turn into a human pinata. And you can only imagine what that would be like, just beating on them till the candy comes out, but the candy's blood. And yeah, it's, it's a long story, but let's see, let's see what lime. And you know you're a Modelo guy, and I've seen this when you go like this. I don't know why people do that. You have to, you're in public, and people see, you just, you know, it's, it's not your girlfriend or your boyfriend, it's, it's a Modelo. Definitely better with the lime. Crispy, not too skunky. I remember it being a little more skunky. Maybe those were the bottles, you know, with the gold foil, but I don't, it's too much hocus pocus trying to do all that. And then if you get foil in your mouth, your teeth get messed up. Modelo is good. Okay, I don't regret doing that. The PBRs, back in the day, I do regret those, but this Modelo, very good. My knife is now clean, and I might have to get a tetanus shot, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, Coors Light. I'm excited to tap into this. It's cold as the Rockies. And you know what? I, I'm not going to lie to you. This might win. Okay. I've been waiting to drink. It's Friday. We don't drink all week. Let's try to be responsible. You know, doing our thing. Let's hear it. That one didn't slip through my hands. Okay. So that's, you know, kudos to the Modelo. That one got me. Let's see. Let's see. They smell virtually the same. Does it have a drip? How's the drip? Is it foamy? These are fresh beers. So they got it. It's, it's extra foamy. Let's see. After that lime, I don't know if I can, can't taste it that much. Hang on, I got something to bring the taste buds right back. <sighs> 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 
That was it. That was it. This was the lime to my cores, as is the lime for the Modelo, the actual lime, the cigarette, is it? I feel like, too, when I drank that, I felt this weird tickle on the back of my neck. It could be the ghost of this garage, but I think it made my fade crispier. I can't tell. It's crispy. Hands down, Coors wins. Because I know if I have too many Modellos, I am going to get effed up. You know, I wind up in a Tijuana jail. The Modelo, I went to a, I went to a all-inclusive vacation in Port, uh, Puerto Vallarta. I had like five of these guys and I blacked out. What are they putting in the Modelo? I don't know. You hear those stories of the tourists who disappear. I don't know why they wanted me. I was very heavy, very obnoxious. But Mexicans, Latinos, Latinas, they, they got their own swagger. They like their own things. So now you know Coors Light wins because it's light, crispy. It doesn't have that imported taste. It's not, I guess, like a skunk, like what a Heineken would be like. And paired with a cigarette, it's going to win every time. So there you have it. The Modelo's good. I feel like my father would be proud of me right now. Um, I'll ask him later. He's going to see this. I got to call him about it. I got to change the light bulb, so I got to call him. I, uh, yeah, I did the Cerveza versus the Coors Light. Coors Light wins. Sam Elliott. Again, thank you for being in the video. He approves. You're approved. You're an idiot. And there you have it. If you have beer comparison ideas or video ideas, leave them in my crotch area. Don't go too low, though. You're getting a little cuckoo. I will try to churn them out. I might do Keystone next. I might just not make videos. You never know. We're just trying to churn them out. So I appreciate you guys watching. Crack a Modelo. Crack a Coors. Do it responsibly and at your home where you're safe. You don't want to be a human pinata. It's never fun. It's never a good look. All right, words of advice. I will see you guys on another side of one and, another, and something. See you later.